everybody and welcome in. Hope you're getting excited about tonight's game between Friendswood and Manville. It's going to should be a good one. Hi, I'm Joe Hollier and welcome to Fight Sports Live. We're set to bring you live District 22 5A action between the national and state ranked Friendswood Mustangs who sit at 20 and 0 overall. That's right. They have not lost a game yet this season. They're 12 and 0 in district. And they're facing the 9-4 Manville Mavericks. Ma Manville is 11-11 overall. They have really fought hard to get back to 500. Now, Friendswood is coming off a 12-0 win um, versus Baytown Lee at their place. And then uh, Manville, well, they're 7-1 in their last eight games. And they also have a four-game winning streak themselves going on right now. now Manville lost to Friendswood one to nothing, and that was back in March. That was March 20th that they lost that game. It was a great pitching matchup, and I believe it was an error that led to the one run that uh, fr that Friendswood scored to win the game. Um, the Mavericks started the season 0 and 8. They did not win their first game until March 3rd of this year. Uh, since that time, they have really righted the ship. Uh, uh, Curlane has uh, them playing some pretty good baseball. Uh, they sit in third place currently in District 22-5A. They are a half game behind Santa Fe. Joining me tonight on the broadcast and also doing everything else, including the PA announcing, is uh, Cade Lyko. So thank you, Cade, for joining in. And no problem. Howdy, folks. We will get this show on the road. Jacob Rogers on the mound for the Mustangs. Jacob, a junior, going to be back next year, which is pretty exciting. Most of the pitching is back for Friendswood. Ball popped up. Got a chance to stay in. Nope, going to go out of play, and it's one and one. The shortstop, Walker, will lead it off for Manville. Yeah, slick, uh, slick looking shortstop here for Manville. I was watching him during warm ups, so really like his action out there. Yeah, he absolutely looks the part. Yeah, he does. The 1 1 in right on the hands, called strike, and it's 1 and 2. Great night for baseball. It's been a beautiful day. Breaking Good pitch in there for Paul Strike Three looking. Next up for the Mavericks, catcher number 17, Christian Garnett. Here's the catcher, Garnett. Line down the right field line for a fair ball. Into the corner, and it'll be an easy stand-up double. They'll be going to go in head first. The tag applied late. But Garnett with a double. Now batting center fielder number eight, Tyson Dawson. And Manville making some noise here early. Montemayor did a good job getting to the ball. But that was a that was a double the second it left the bat. Here's Tyson Dawson, the center fielder. Fastball right down the pipe. Curveball stays down. It's one and one. It's a good pitch right there. I mean, he kept the ball down, low in the zone. I know they're going to try to attack early. This one just off the plate, and it's two and one. Andrews at third, Pacheco at short, South at second, Boots over at first. Winkler, Newkirk, and Montemayor in the outfield. Maxi behind the plate. 
This ball is up in the zone. It's fouled straight back, and it's two and two. Mustangs playing pretty much straight away. Newkirk pulled over a little bit towards left field. Big crowd on hand for Friendswood. Mamble slowly coming in, starting to fill up on, on their side. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Looking for the curveball, got the gas. And just a little wave of the bat to try and stay alive. Dawson comes up empty and there's two outs in the inning. Here's the cleanup, Mickey Johnson. Johnson playing first base for the Mavericks. Ball one from Rogers. Oh, they're gonna call a balk on him for dropping the baseball. Sorry, I was coming out of my jacket. Didn't even see him drop drop the uh, baseball. Yeah, as Rogers went to the bump, he was uh, trying to just get set. I mean, he wasn't even coming set. He was just trying to get comfortable up there, and he dropped the ball out of his mitt. Now they'll go. He'll go uh, full wind up here with two outs. Two and oh to the number four hitter, Johnson. Pitch. Great location on that pitch. Manville trying to do something they have yet to do this year, and that score run against this Friendswood pitching. They got a man at third, just 90 feet away. Here's the 2-1. This ball grounded to the right side and foul. The 2-2. Two -two. High gas, got him swinging. Rogers pumped up, strikes out the side here in the first. And we will head to the bottom of the first with no score. Hey, for all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Newkirk set to lead it off for your Mustangs. It'll be Newkirk followed by Winkler, Pacheco, and then Maxi. Newkirk this year hitting 315 out of the leadoff spot. 28 runs scored. That leads the Mustangs. Ball popped out of play. 
one of the things um, he's done extremely well not, is get on base. He has 17 walks also, and that is second on the team. Yeah, there's no doubt he's been a great leadoff hitter for this club this year. 473 on base percentage. In on the hands, curveball, and it's hit foul down the right field line. It's 0-2. One of the things Newkirk. Fair ball down the right field line. Newkirk headed it for second base. The throw is going to be offline. It's a stand up leadoff double for Newkirk. Here's Winkler. Winkler's only hitting 387. Not bad for your two hole guy. He leads the team in hit by pitches. Getting a new baseball, a couple of new balls. Well, I was getting ready to say is Newkirk leads the team in number of pitches seen. He, he, the reason he has a lot of walks is he takes a lot of pitches. And as soon as I say that, he swings at the first three he sees <laughs> and doubles on the third one. Yeah, you could tell he was seeing the ball well in that at bat, though. He was really coming out ready to hit it. Winkler, on the other hand, a free swinger. About 100 pitches less seen by Winkler overall. As he sees something he likes, he goes after it immediately. Good wheels as well. Can lay down the bunt, beat it out. Does not strike out very often. Tries the bunt there, comes up empty, and it's 0-2. Right At third base, playing way back. It was not a bad idea. Curveball got him swinging. Only the sixth strikeout by Winkler this season. Big strikeout, though. And guess what? <laughs> they're, not gonna, they're not even going to remotely try to let Pacheco beat him. The intentional walk. You can hear the boo birds coming. Brings up the catcher, Dylan Maxey. Maxey, 321 on the year. He leads the team in RBIs. Some of that has to do with what you saw right there. Teams have just been unwilling. Good curveball in there for a called strike, and it's 0-1. I'll tell you, warming up, Simmons was a little erratic, but uh, <laughs> when it came time to play ball here, he's uh, thrown seven straight strikes to start the game. Fastball is lifted foul, and Maxey in the hole now 0-2. If he's smart, he'll come up, come back with a fastball up out of the zone here and try and get Maxie to chase. If he tries to throw that curveball for a strike, Maxie will make him pay. Yeah, I would I wouldn't throw it. I would not in throw the zone a strike here. here. No. Here's the 0-2. Curveball up out of the zone. Throw is up high. Gets by a short the third oh. baseman. 
And the shortstop did a good job of getting over and slowing it down. So they will keep Newkirk at third. So they did come with the high fastball. Maxie didn't chase. Good job by him holding up. That makes it a little more difficult on your catcher here. The pitcher, you know, would like to be able to bury one down low in the zone here, but um, runners on second and third, one out. The double steal, infield coming in. Max uh, does chase that high fastball, though, and they get him swinging. It's two outs. Big strike out there. So it's up to the sophomore, Boots Landry. Boots 286. Another good high fastball. Boots holds up, and it's 1 0. Both teams threatening, threatening in the first inning. Another high fastball. Boots couldn't lay off of that one. It's 1 and 1. DA on deck. Kind of hoping he throws that curveball into Boots. Nope. Fastball away, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike, two outs, two on. This one right on the corner, and it's two and two. Good location by Simmons. Simmons trying to do what his counterpart did. Strike out the side. This curveball stays up and it runs full. Yeah, he's left that curve up a few times already. Uh, you got to expect that might come back to haunt him. He needs to get that ball down as a pitcher. Three, two. Curveball was hung and it will make it to the Friendswood bleachers. And we'll reset and do it again. That's probably what his catcher is telling him right now. I mean, we got to get that down out of the zone. <clears throat> yeah, he got away with one there. I think uh, Boots kind of anticipated that off speed, and he was sitting right on it, just uh, got under and fouled it back. And more high gas. So coming right back is Simmons striking out the side. And we got us a game, folks. And after one, your Mustangs nothing, the Manville Mavericks nothing. We'll head to the second and be back after this. One of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPBYPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VipBYPE.com. Here is the DH, Byron Robinson. Hits from the left side. Yeah. 
in on the hands, jammed, and just foul. Robinson looking at his left hand, it stings a little bit. Flag is at uh, half mass, excuse me, half staff is on land here. President ordering that today is in response to the shootings in Indianapolis at the FedEx Center. Just off the corner, and it's one and one. Maxie held it there an extra second or two. That one way off the corner. Two balls, one strike, nobody on. Here in the top of the second. Mustangs trying to improve to 21 and 0 on the season. Mamble's trying to stay in the uh, district playoff race. Big hop for South. There's one away. I'll bring up the right fielder, Darren Lewis. That's the uh, first out recorded by either team, something other than a strikeout. <laughs> been a gorgeous day here weather-wise. Clouds have moved in, but as you can see, uh, not, not much breeze. Which is unusual here. It seems like every game we've had, it's been you know, strong winds blowing straight in from left. I was kind of hoping that front would stay a little bit strong and turn it around. Oh, that pitch just misses, and it's 3-0 and oh to Lewis. Rogers just needs to slow down a little bit. Takes time, catches breath. He'll be fine. He stand, sometimes tends to just speed up his tempo a little too much, but when he settles in, he's dominating. Lewis having trouble catching up to that fastball, and it's count has run full now. Pablo Robledo on deck. The 3-2. Curveball in there, got him looking. The be <laughs> beauty, too. Just frozen. Strikeout number four for Rodgers. Rogers, 25 innings pitched. He's 5-0 and on the season. Giving up 17 hits, two runs, only one earned run. Ten walks with 37 strikeouts. A sub-1 ERA at .280. Near four call strike is 2-1. Two outs, nobody on. Good slider there, and it's two and two. Came right back with more gas. So two more strikeouts for Rodgers. One looking, one swinging, and it's a one, two, three inning as the Mavericks go down. Coming up for your Mustangs in the bottom of the second will be Andrews, Wright, and Montemayor.
Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. All right, here's D-Ace leading off the uh, bottom of the second. 269 on the season. D-A with a bomb against Baytown Lee. Lines this one through the right side for a base hit. So Devin staying hot. Boy, D-A. Second hit for the Mustangs. Brings up the DH, Michael Wright. Michael hitting 304. There's only a couple of Mustangs that are in the starting lineup that hit below 300. And not much below 300. And a rare ball one from Simmons. Hit in the right field, a little drop for a base hit. Andrews digging for third. Oh, it's hit a, it hit, what did it hit? The cutoff, man, he tried to. Cut off uh, shortstop there, cut off man, tried to pick that on a short hop. It just kicked off the heel of his glove, kind of popped up. Fortunately, well, fortunately, because he had, stopped it, 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 had it he not stopped it, they'd probably had a good shot at it getting him. Back to back singles and the Mustangs, runners on the corner with nobody out. Brings up Landon Montemayor, senior right fielder. Not necessarily a sacrifice situation, but a lot of things Benny could do here. Ooh, it's going to be close. Wow. So um, Mavericks a little bit upset. Mustangs get a break as Montemayor left that out there a little bit longer than I would have liked. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if they were trying some sort of safety squeeze there. Or, I mean, you got runners on the corner. I'm not really sure what was going on with that. He maybe got mixed up with the signals or something like that. But. Yeah. Safety squeeze is not a bad idea. Ooh, that's close. Oh, they did get him. They're going to call him out. Sit out. Man, Benny is upset. Now, you can tell Travis thought he was back in over there at first base. And that is a huge base running mistake. And again, yeah, more likely a bad call than a base running mistake. Yeah, but he did kind of get caught leaning in the pitch before the pickoff before that. I don't think he was expecting that second one for some reason, but um, that is tough. I mean, you have a chance at a big inning, first and third, no outs, two consecutive hits. Montemayor takes ball two. And that's a, you know, that's the little, little things that are going to make a difference in this ball game. I'd rather have um, that strike back rather than the out. Nice hit. Hammer in the left field. They'll drop for a base hit, and Mustangs are on the board. Montemayor gives the Mustangs a one-run lead. D.A. comes in to score. And 
And here's your other leadoff guy. He bats in the nine hole, but he's pretty much uh, your leadoff guy. 319 on the year. Gets on base quite a bit. Looks at a good big curveball there for strike one. Three sharply hit balls here in the bottom of the second. And Mustangs get on the board one to nothing. Another good curveball. And you can see South trying to pull the trigger, just couldn't make himself do it. And he's down the count 0-2. Good size lead over at first. Another curveball. Reed actually uh, stepped in the bucket he sure did. to get a piece of that one. Good job of hitting, fighting that off. And this is really where Reed has excelled. I mean, when he does get down the count, he just fights and fights. He he moves the baseball, moves the baseball, fights it off until he can find something he can handle and put in play. He very rarely leaves it up to the umpire. Ground to the short. Picks clean. That was the shortstop we talked about, how good he looked in the pregame. Brings up the center fielder, Kevin Newkirk. Newkirk doubled his first at bat. He was uh, left out there. Montemayor out of second. Pitch just off the plate, and it's 1-0. and Same place, same call, 2-0. Newkirk, 315 average for starting the game. Got a good hanging curveball. He took it for a strike. Good job pitching right there. He had two low and away fastballs. Didn't miss by much, but just off the plate. But didn't have the feel, so he said, I'll try to go to the curveball in a 2 0 count. Threw a perfect one. Two outs the inning, runner at second. Mustangs leading one to nothing. Now this is the Kevin Newkirk I talked about in the yep, <laughs> first. Exactly. Sees a lot of pitches, works the count, and that's why he leads the team. Very patient hitter. Slow roller. It's going to be a tough play. Picked up, and they beat him to the bag. So first base unassisted, and that'll do it for the Mustangs. But they get on the board. Thanks to an RBI by Montemayor. And we will head to the top of the third. Mustangs leading it one to nothing. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com.
Hi, everybody. Joe Hoyer along with Cade Lyko and our QA back in the studio. And I'm going to say this right. I say I will. Dandra, work. I wrote it down. Not, it's not the easiest of names to say. McBenu. There it is. Thank you, Dandra. Ball low. Here's the pitcher, Simmons, hitting for himself in this game. It's a good piece of that one, but late, and it'll be out of play. One and one. Rogers been throwing, coming at guys in this game. Not a lot of off speed. Another yeah, fastball. He, he doesn't tiptoe around the strike zone. He <laughs> says, "Here it is. Hit it if you can." One hit for the Mavericks. Five strikeouts so far for Rogers, and we're just in the third. There's a great off-speed breaking ball. Ma Maxi with great job holding on to that one. And it's strikeout number six. Here's Laura, the second baseman. Outfield in very shallow, especially in right field. Montemayor is playing a deep second. In on the hands, even as the count at one apiece. That was also a strike. I mean, exactly. he was going to call that strike no matter what. But and that's off the plate. Runs the count full to Lara, the nine hitter. Fastball swung through. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the third inning. Strikeout number seven for Rodgers. Kate, you don't think having 15 scouts in the stands has anything to do with an extra couple miles per hour on the pitching mound, do you? I don't, man, I don't know. He's been doing this all year. There's been scouts all year, but uh, I just think that kid, that young man, he gets in a zone out there. And when he's feeling it, he just lets it rip. I mean, his arm is just along for the ride. He 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 is he is in it to win it every time, every pitch. I love it. One ball to the leadoff hitter, Isaiah Walker. Walker struck out looking his first time up. He's definitely opening some eyes. You know. He's not hurting his cause any, right. that's for sure. And as you Pointedly pointed out, just a junior. Just a junior. Hammered into center field. Newkirk on the run and comes in and makes the catch. Great jump on the ball by Newkirk there. Great job. Only the second out recorded. It wasn't a strikeout. That's how hot Rodgers is right now. 
We will head to the bottom of the third. Mustangs leading this one over the Manville Mavericks, one to nothing. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Do up here in the bottom of third, Winkler, Pacheco, and then Maxi. Be interesting to see how they pitch to Pacheco with nobody on base, or maybe just one on base. Ooh, a high strike call on Winkler. One ball, one strike. Lewis in tight at third base. That one got him. Number eight. Again, he leads the team. He's going to smart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got him right on that outer elbow bone there. That's rough. Here's Pacheco. Intentionally walked in the first inning. Had an RBI against Lee, hit a couple of balls deep to the warning track, but uh, did not get one out. Off speed pitch down and away, and it's 1-0. and oh. Maxi on deck. Big lead by Winkler. This ball is hit to Iowa, but foul. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that <laughs> ball was hammered. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's even got people on the Mamble side murmuring. Mm. Yeah, maybe try a different pitch, Simmons. I don't know. You make that mistake again, you won't have that same One result. ball, one strike. Oh. Terrible call. Man, that's Late breaking tough. ball in on the hands. Man, I throw the same pitch. Because you, even if you can't do anything with it, right. swinging at it. If you did, you, you pop, it, pop up or hit it foul. Isaac second on the team in uh, pitches seen. We had talked about this, how he has matured as a hitter. One ball, two strikes. And that one gets away. Winkler will get to second easily. Now, now opens there's up the base again. But an open base. You can be a little bit more careful with Pacheco and not be too upset about it. The 2-2 two -two stays down. Again, that's a pitcher's pitch. That's a great pitch at 2-2. Two and two. Wonderful pitch. And, uh, and a great job by Isaac to lay off. Just shows you the maturity of Isaac to lay off that pitch. Full count. <laughs> Ooh, playing with fire. Don't throw it in the zone, son.
Three balls, two strikes. Runner at second, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the third. In on the hands and shows you the bat speed by Isaac. Yeah, that ball got, got in on him, got deep on the inner half, which is tough, and he was able to fight it off and live to see another pitch. That's ball four, but again, close in the zone where that umpire called the curveball strike. Right, exactly. And that's the maturation of, of Isaac right there, recognizing that that zone may be um, expanding a little bit on him. He, he went out there and made sure he fouled that off to get another one. And there's ball four. So just a great at bat by Pacheco. Here's your RBI leader, the junior catcher, Maxi. I have yet to see Dylan bunt this year. Don't know that this is a bunting situation here. Again, uh, I mean, still early, bottom third, no outs. You've got the first two guys on base. You have a chance at a big inning. I, I just, and I love the, the potential of that rather than just giving away an out. I really hope he's swinging away here, but that's me. I'm not the coach, and, and uh, you know, it's hard to argue with a team that's undefeated well, so far this year. So Well, and, and not <laughs> – The decisions they made have been again, right. Again, so. I have not seen our number four hitter bunt. I'm right. just saying yeah. <laughs> it could happen with two on, and, then again, this is a one-run game. Good job by laying The best thing, that. yeah, I, I like about that is Dylan laid off the pitch he struck out on in exactly. his first at bat. Smart by Mamble going right back to that pitch. Please throw him a curveball. Ball hammered in the left field on the run in. It is caught. What a catch by the left fielder. Winkler gets back in time. And that saved a run, if not two. Maxie hammered that pitch. Yeah, he got all of that. He hit it on the screws. Unfortunately, just had enough top spin to get the ball to come back down to left fielder. Left fielder made a great running play, though. Here's Boots. Boots struck out to end the uh, first inning. But, Kay, do your – Notion a minute ago, yeah, I'd, I'd rather see Maxi swinging away <laughs> in that situation. Now, Boots gets a base hit here, <laughs> or somehow moves the runners over without getting out. Right. Then you know you you start second guessing yourself, but you know all you can ask is hit the ball hard somewhere, and that's what Dylan did. One ball, one strike to Boots. Out in the left field again at the what left field. Doing? Winkler what are we doing? thought there were two outs. They overthrew first base. <laughs> Is there a chance he gets back? No. So Winkler thought there were two outs. And that is a big base running blunder there. He was around thirds <laughs> coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so the double play, the, the old hard way, it's the uh, seven, three, six. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate <laughs> there. Just, uh, just a bad base runner mistake. Got to know the situation. And it doesn't happen very often, but unfortunately it always seems like it's games like this that are tight and evenly match that uh, those little mistakes like that can come back to bite you so yeah big break there for Mamble for sure and that'll take us into the fourth inning Friendswood still clinging to the one to nothing lead Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Fight Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Fight brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes 
James and gets the kill. Mike brings you walk off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left, it is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Bite Sports. BYP. Here we go, top four. Number 17, Christian Garnett will lead it off. Garnett doubled his first time up. He has the lone hit for the Mavericks in this game. Yeah, he jumped on first pitch fastball, hit it where it was pitched last time. I'd like to see Rodgers mix it up. There it is, good curveball. Let him see something different. Probably not the location he wanted, but definitely uh, change the eye levels, change speeds, get him thinking a little bit. And Rogers behind 2-0, and something he hasn't done much of this year. No walk issued by either pitcher other than the intentional walk to Pacheco. Swinging 3-0. and oh. <laughs> Kelly Carlene saying, you go, big guy. <laughs> take, take a rip. And this one stays down. That was a close call. Did not go the Mustangs' way, and it's a leadoff walk for the Mavericks. Friendswood pretty good about turning a double play almost at least one every game. Dawson struck out, swinging his first time up. Kind of flailed at a fastball, looking curveball. Ball lifted high in the air towards second. South has it for out number one. <laughs> Haven't seen anybody run on Dylan in a while. Good block by Maxie, and it's 1-0. and oh. He saw Maxie taking a little peek behind the left-handed batter there down towards first, see where that runner was at after that pitch. Wouldn't be surprised to see him snap a throw off, even with the left-handed batter standing there. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Evens the count at one apiece. You know, at some point, you're going to have to try something. Uh, hit and run. Swinging there. Runner was not going, though, and it's one and two. Traditionally here in this situation, this count with, with one out, be a good count to run on, but uh, expect to throw over here. Well, maybe not. There, there he goes. goes. Double pops. Throws there. Oh! <laughs> he missed the first out because Pacheco dropped the ball. He slid past the bag, which enabled Pacheco to pick it up and tag him on his way back. So it's still a caught stealing. Yeah, that was a wild uh, chain <laughs> of events there. I'm not sure. Two six. <laughs> and I want you to keep in mind, Maxie double pumped. <laughs> he couldn't get the ball out 
He double pumps. He still throws him out. But Pacheco doesn't come up with it cleanly. But since he slid past the bag, he was able to grab the ball and tag him on the way back. So great job, both ends by Maxi and Isaac. I still, I, I don't like the straight steals against Maxi. You're going to have to do a hit and run. You, is Dylan will throw you out. And that was a strike to Pacheco, by the way. It really was. He just kind of. Handcuffed himself on that throw a little bit. Caught him in the ankle. Two Action. balls, two strikes, two outs. Grounder to short. Pacheco comes through, sidearm, and out by two steps, and that ends the inning. Well, thanks to the caught stealing, it's a 1-2-3 inning. And we'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Your Mustangs lead it one to nothing. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. is going to lead it off for the Mustangs here in the bottom of the fourth. Andrews singled his first at bat. Been pretty hot lately. He looks a little more confident, a little more comfortable in the box. That last game did a number for him. Another really shot. Hot. This one Great stabbed by the second baseman, and they're going to get him. That is a stolen hit right there. Yeah, that was a stellar play by the second baseman there. Diving to his backhand side on a hard hit, short hop. Field it clean, jumped to his feet, a perfect throw. Great play. Here's right. Looks at ball one. Right singled his last time up. And it's two and zero. Oh. Mustangs are putting uh, some pretty good swings on Simmons, but the defense has been helping him out. Middle infield has been stellar. Left fielder's taking a couple of hits away. And it's 3-0 and oh to the DH for Friendswood. And he take all the way there for 3-1. Rolled over on that one. Had a good pitch to hit, though. Fastball right down the middle. He sure he'd love to have that back. So a couple of ground outs to second. We'll bring up Montemayor, but two outs and nobody on here in the fourth. Ooh. 
High strike has Montemayor down in the count, 0-1. Lynn has the uh, lone RBI in this game. He is the difference thus far. Good curveball there for a called strike. <laughs> a lot easier to see that pitch at uh, 120 feet rather than 60. Yeah. Wow. It's a great one-two pitch. Montemayor leads the Mustangs in strikeouts. Has <laughs> it's 12, 12 on the season. It should be a ball. Did you see what he did? Yeah. He started his windup. No, I, I, that's what he's asking that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he definitely started and stopped. So. Uh, it should be nice and tell us. Yep, three and two. Ooh, man. Simmons didn't like it. First, and that, that's huge there because uh, regardless of what South does, the uh, top of the lineup is coming up either this inning or next. So Montemayor, one for one with a walk. South gets it down. Simmons throw. Great play by the pitcher. There. Great play by Simmons. Oh, I hope Reed's okay. I was Are they checking him over there? He hit the bag pretty hard. Yeah, they're checking him. Yep, oh, he's good to go. A little gingerly <laughs> walking over to second base. They they tell you to run through that time-wise, but I, I, I know I back when I played, I was a head-first diving kind of guy, too. That's a great play by Simmons. If he gets it by him, it's, it's an infield single for sure. Got Simmons off his back foot through a strike. That was just a great play by the pitcher. Yep, he's the only one that had a chance, and he came through, made the play, fielded his position well. I've noticed he works right on top of the rubber the whole game. There's no wasted movement. There's no wasted effort. When he's done throwing, he's in a good position to field his position, and he works quick. I like to watch him pitch. Yeah, we got a couple of good ones on the mound here tonight for sure. Mustang winning the first matchup between these two teams one to nothing. And that is currently the score we have here. Here's Robinson, the DH, grounded out the second his first time up. Ball's fouled out of play. Next pitch will be number 60 on the day for Rogers. Hammered high into center field. Newkirk, lots of room, squeezes it for out number one. <clears throat> Here's the right fielder, Darren Lewis, struck out back in the second inning. Looking at a pretty good curveball. 
Mustangs one run on four hits, no errors. Wow, wish I wish we had a gun back here. Mavericks, no runs on one hit and no errors. I think Rogers is getting loose. <laughs> You know, we say this every game about him. He <laughs> no. seems to get stronger as the game goes on. I, I, the last game, he pitched a complete game, and I think, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a complete game, but his last inning, he was. I said that I think they were saying he was touching 89-90 in his last inning, which is great. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, I wouldn't be trying to extend that at bat too, son. Take all the time you need. Strikeout number 10 for Rogers. Pablo finally gets a piece of one as uh, Rogers have been just blowing it by hitters here in this inning. Nobody on, two outs. Good curveball. Wow. No call. Woo. Sure looked like that caught a corner. One ball, one strike. Yeah, you know, trying to pull Rodgers tonight is not a good idea. If you start looking the other way, you might have a little more success. But everybody's up there, you know, trying to match him, and they're just coming up empty. Two, strike, two more strikeouts in the inning for Rodgers. That's number 11. As he continues to deal, Mustangs clinging to the one-run lead, looking for some insurance here in the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back right after this. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, Philly pulls up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Fight Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Fight brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Fight brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Fight Sports. BYP. Newkirk leading it off for the Mustangs. Be your one, two, three, and four. Start the fifth. Kevin grounded out to first base his last time up on a uh, full count. Out of play, and it's one and one. Joe Hoyer along with Cade Lyko and our QA back in the studio, Dandra McVenue. Thank you so much, Daniel. Appreciate, appreciate all the help. Make sure we're looking good and sounding good. Uh, nice hop there by the first baseman. So again, Newkirk. 
third base unassisted. Here's Winkler. Winkler hit by a pitch and then was part of that inning where thought there were two outs, took off on a ball hit by Landry. Skies this one to shortstop. And it's a quick two outs here in the fifth. So Isaac has a couple of walks to his name thus far. One intentional, one semi not intentional. He hit a home run foul. It probably showed up on a NASA satellite somewhere. And he takes all speed pitch for a ball. Maxi on deck, the 1-0. Curveball in there for a called strike. The 1-1. That one stays down, and it's 2-1. and one. Again, lots of scouts on hand tonight. Full crowd on both sides. Just misses low. Simmons wanted the call, didn't get it. It's three and one. This ball is hit at the center field and caught by the center fielder. Oh my God. Manville is bringing their A game. They want to be the team that put a blemish on this record. And every one of these guys are playing at a very, very high level. It's just a great running catch out in center field as Pacheco scorched that baseball. We will go to the sixth. Mustang still leading this one, one to nothing. Where is Simmons on his pitch count? Uh, quick, efficient inning there for, with only eight pitches brought him up to 70 pitches through five innings. And so, uh, Rogers is at 68 through five. Yeah, but wow. Both pitchers have been just amazing tonight. Pounding the strike zone, making good pitches. Uh, they've been able to pitch around Pacheco. And then, I mean, to a man, almost everybody on that team has made a spectacular play defensively. Yeah, when that ball was first struck, I didn't think the center field had a chance. His first step was in, and usually that's a nightmare, but he made a great adjustment, headed, headed back, and ran it down. Great play. Reached up at the last second. And I... That may have been the, the best play of the night. I, Simmons made an outstanding play. Lara made an unbelievable play. Uh, Roblado out and left has made a couple of nice plays. Grounded, DA down on it. Nice footwork, DA, good job. And, you know, that's the another thing, Katie. It's so easy to forget that you're in a game because you're sitting here watching Rodgers pitch this gym, and all of a sudden there's a ball coming at you. Great job by D.A. there, staying low. That was one of those just ground-hugging ground balls. Didn't really hop, just stayed down. But he started low, 
and worked up from there. Yeah, actually you know, went down on, on a knee yeah. just uh, to make sure, and you're right. That gave him plenty of time to make the throw across. I think it goes both ways with this uh, this pitching staff. You know, they throw a lot of strikes, but they're able to because of the defense behind them. They can attack the zone knowing that their defense is going to make plays. Lara strikes out for the second time tonight, and there's two away here in the sixth. Strikeout number 11 for Rogers. Showing bunt, not a, Maxi. what a play by oh, Maxi! back there, Maxie. Wow! Kid is so quick, amazing. So the Mustangs flashing some leather of their own. And it's a one, two, three here in the sixth. just don't see many catchers with that amount of quickness and instinct. I mean, it, it takes longer to recognize where that ball is for most catchers than it did for him to recognize it and get there. That ball was almost out of the circle dirt uh, on the first base side on a popped up bunt, and, and it wasn't popped up very high, maybe eight or 10 feet, and he was able to get to it. It's just amazing. He has had a busy day. I know he's been to, he's already gone to the gym and worked out this morning. He uh, had a visit uh, to select spine and sports. Worked out with uh, chiropractor Dr. Gunnar Hollier. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna give Gunnar a little credit for that quick quickness there. There you go. He's loose. And as uh, odds would have it, guess who's going to be leading off? And how many times have we seen that? A great play in the field followed by a great offensive at bat. Let's see if that can happen. Maxie over two, lined out deep to left field his last time up. Nice running catch out there. Promised me a long ball here tonight. Got the pitch for it. He knows it. He knows. <laughs> he does. That was the look. He can't believe it either. Got his pitch and just got under it. The 0 1. Curveball stays off the plate and it's 1 and 1. That one off the plate. You can hear his dad's uh, Bob White quail phone. He get, when it, he gets a text. You get, so good job by the uh, crowd, Mike, picking that up. Got under it. Got under it. Dead center. And there's one away. Next up here, Mustang, sophomore first baseman, number 25, Boots Landry. Here's Boots, struck out in the first, flew out to left field in the third, which ended the inning after uh, Winkler was doubled off. But got a good piece of Simmons. So again, Mustangs have hit Simmons hard, but the defense has been stellar. This ball hit hard to center field. Another long run and corralled. Kind of a long way around it. He's making it interesting, but he's making the plays. So a couple of fly ball outs to center field. Brings up Andrews. The Andrew. center fielder made a complete circle there on that one. He did. He went right, <laughs> did a complete circle back to his left. DA, DA got his dancing shoes on there. Head the count 1-0. and oh. oh, tried to get him again. <laughs> D 
DA's been hitting him hard today. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. DA should be 2 for 2 in this game, robbed by the second baseman his last time up. And he's sitting on a 3-0 count here. And a gratuitous yeah. strike there on the outside corner. Supposedly. And to the second baseman again. High hop. <laughs> Another great play. <laughs> oh, wow. We're through six. Mustangs need three outs. Mavericks have two, three, and four coming up in their order. Friendswood leads it one to nothing. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Mustangs will travel tomorrow, play on the road at Baytown Sterling, and then back on Friday to take on Santa Fe. So it's nice that Rogers has um, gone the distance here, haven't had to use a lot of pitching. And a curveball called strike, even though it just rolls out of Dylan's glove. Great way to start this uh, at bat. Christian's had a couple of really good at bats against Rodgers. He has. He has the only well. hit against Rodgers. And even in his last at bat, he had the 3-0 <laughs> green light. Had one to hit, just missed it. But the very next pitch was a you know a tight pitch, and he let it go. Did it, did what he was supposed to do, and he got on base. The difference here, though, he's down in the count now, 0-2. Yep. The double came on a first pitch fastball. And going, going to see climb. Oh, great, great pitch. Great pitch. I tell you, this uh, Christian Garnett, he's definitely got a good understanding of the zone, doesn't he? Oh, Lord. Man. Whew. You can tell Rogers wanted the call. I think I'd come back with a high fastball. Instead, they burned him on the inside corner and got him looking. Should have been out a strike a pitch ago. That's strikeout number 12 for Rogers, an even dozen. Here's Dawson. Tyson Dawson has struck out in both of his at-bats tonight. Struck out in, back in the first inning and then struck out again in the fourth. Takes a strike here. Hit up the middle. Oh, Jim by Rogers. Second hit of the game for the Mavericks. Rogers just missing that one. 
Here's Mickey Johnson. Johnson strike, struck out in the first, grounded out to short in the fourth. Let me see a ground ball double play here. In the hole. What a play by Pacheco. Almost got the lead runner. It'll be an infield single. So back-to-back -back singles has runners at first and second. Mavericks. With a little something going on here. Byron Robinson, the batter, he has made contact twice tonight. Grounded out to second in the second inning. And then flew out to center field back in the fifth. So, And then past Robinson, Darren Lewis and Pablo Roblato have four strikeouts between them. So this is the danger guy right here. And there's no nowhere to put him. Oh, it looks like there's a pinch hitter on deck, to number 25. You have a name for the pinch hitter that's going to come up? Cameron Shalakis. So Shalakis will pinch hit after Byron here. He'll hit for Darren Lewis, assuming uh, the Mustangs don't roll a double play here. Power versus power right there. Rogers really showing his middle toughness here. Good job, Dylan. Good block. Maxie keeping the runners where they are. First and second, one out. We're in the top of the seventh. Mustangs trying to hold on to a one-run lead. This one gets by him. Max, he's got a shot in him at third. They're going to get him. A huge out number two as the fastball got by. But there's that quickness of Maxi, Able to get the rebound ball coming off the wall and it's spinning around throwing a strike at third base for out number two. Yeah, fortunately for, for Rogers there, uh, the ball missed the pad and hit the brick beneath the pad, shot right back to Max. Kind of startled Maxi, as a matter of fact, but as quick as he is, he was able to corral it and throw a bullet. Of course, a perfect strike like he always does down the third. I, if I'm Benny, I'm pitching around this guy and going after the, the pinch hitter. Something up out of the zone. Yeah. Ooh, great curve, but right in the middle, right in the heart. Mm. But I'm with you. Got a base open. Obviously, he's your, your DH yeah, he, for a reason. He's seen, he's seen him. He's had three at-bats. Right. The guy on deck hasn't seen this guy. Exactly. One strike away. Hammered into left field. Winkler on the run. It's going to be over his head. And that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Throw into second base is late. And the Mavericks have tied it. That and that, that was my up. worry there, Cade. Yep. That got them fired up. The whole team's out of the dugout. They are pumped. Just keep our composure. Just a good piece of hitting by the by the young man there, uh, Robinson. And he did what he's supposed to do. Designated hitter is supposed to hit, and 
He went with an outside fastball and drove it the other way. So you're still going to get the uh, pinch hitter. Three hits in the inning, two singles and a double. And the only reason they're not up two to one is they had another runner caught stealing. Mustangs have threatened in several innings but unable to push across another run. And we are tied at one at the moment. Curveball in there for a strike, and it's 0-2. Hey, right. Here's the 0-2. Fastball, curveball down the dirt. Maxie will pick it up. Good job. And it's a 2-3 put out. But the Mavericks with a huge two-out RBI by M Mickey Johnson. I'm sorry, Byron Robinson. Evens the score at one. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Mustangs need a run. Well, Sam Simmons back out for the seventh inning. Right this one in the left field, and it'll be an easy out. And that's one where I'd kind of wish he would take a pitch there. You, you, you got to get on any way you can. Yeah, a little anxious at bat there. Mm. Rogers not always getting that call. Good fastball there, and it's 0-2. Both pitchers have really been pounding the strike zone tonight. Four hits apiece now. And even in the run column. What's our pitch counts on both guys, Cade? <clears throat> All right, so Rogers through seven is at 91 pitches. Uh, next pitch right here for Simmons will be 85.
South 0 for 2 tonight. Grounder left side. Candy hop it short. Good throw across, and they're going to get him by a step. So a, another quick inning. The Mustangs have not. At one time, Rodgers had thrown way fewer pitches, and now they've kind of changed places. Uh, last few innings, Simmons has shut down 12 of 13 hitters. He has been on fire here late. late. So Mustangs will get a new pitcher as we head to the eighth. So Case Meyer will take over the mound duties, and that'll do it for Rogers. He gives up one run on four hits, struck out a dozen batters. Excuse me, struck out 13 batters, and he will be left with a no decision. on Case Meyer pitch against Santa Fe in Santa Fe. Get you the numbers on Case Meyer. Hits a batter on the first pitch of the game. So Pablo reaches a uh, hit by pitch. Uncharacteristic first pitch ball for Case Meyer. Yeah, Case Meyer pitch. normally pretty, pretty good about throwing strikes. 30 strikeouts on the year. Case Meyer also in the 25 inning pitch range. Giving up 17 hits, seven runs, six earned runs, four walks with 30 strikeouts, and that is the fourth batter he has hit this year. Looking to move the runner over, and he's down 0-2. You know, there's, there's some, Cade, who kind of would like to see the Mustangs get a, a loss just to have one before they hit the playoffs. And then there's the uh, other section that's like, you know, it would be nice to just go unbeaten all the way through. Yeah, an unbeaten season is so incredibly difficult at no matter what level. Um, Try it so again. Yeah, Throw out. Uh, over there, boots, but, uh, boots had to come in. To come in the bunt. Almost a double play. Boots did not get back to the bag in time. But again, he had to come in on the uh, attempted bunt. There's out number one. Here's Lara. Nope, who is this? 14. This is Josh Campbell. So Josh Campbell will pinch hit. I, for one, want to see him go undefeated. So I'm, I'm rooting for it to continue. <laughs> so 
but I, yeah, I, it, there's definitely that that side of it. Where it's the old saying that you know you play to win, not, you know, not try not to lose that kind of thing. And so far, the Mustangs haven't shown any sign of that. They they have been playing to win every time out. Um, lined at Reed, the four, six, three. There it is. That's what it's like about this. Well, we had to go extra innings to get our first double play, but I'll take it. Perfect time for that. Perfect time. Lined right at south. Quick flip to Pacheco, and then uh, there was no beating out that throw. No. That got over there at about 100. <laughs> <laughs> he chunked it. Looks like Simmons still on the bump for the Mavericks. Uh, his next pitch of the game will be pitch number 87. Wow. And Griffin Casemeyer did what he does. Uh, started the last inning uncharacter uncharacteristically with a hit batter, but after that, five straight strikes ended up with uh, six pitches and a three-out inning. So he does what he does. So the Mustangs need a run here. They have the top of the order coming up with Newkirk, Winkler, and Pacheco. And, you know, hats off to Simmons as he is uh, – kept that vaunted Friendswood offense off balance between his pitching and some stellar defense behind him. He has given up one hit to the top four batters for Friendswood. And one of them, the one is to this guy right here. Newkirk swinging on strike one. It's a moonshot. Finally gets called off by the shortstop. He comes all the way over to second base. <laughs> you know, I kind of get it. A walk off home run is pretty cool. So, you know, that's, you know that's what's going through a high school kid's head right now. Yeah, and uh, they got to remember just to do what they do and get in there and, and just have good quality ABs. Don't change what they do. The situation's not bigger than the game. Just keep doing it. Winkler swinging on strike one on first pitch. Down in the count now, 0-1. Yeah. 0-2. Just got a piece of it. Winkler struck out. Hit by a pitch and popped out to short. Curveball, golf shot into right field and caught by the second baseman. I can't believe the defense. The Mavericks are playing tonight. I thought for sure that was going to drop in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Second intentional walk issue tonight. Not, not a bad idea. <laughs> Well, here's Maxie. Here, the key for Maxie last at bat was to stay within himself, which he did. Can he do it again? Pacheco also a big threat to steal a base here, Cade. Yeah, he likes to run. I don't want to get too aggressive and get caught. We've already had one caught stealing. Dylan hit the ball well two at-bats ago. I'd like to see that again, give him a chance to swing it here. 
but you wouldn't I have bet to have second base. I bet you money he's going. Hammered Hammer. in the center field. Hammer. Deep. To the warning track, it is off, off the wall. wall. Pacheco coming around third. That's a ball There's game, ball. Maxie has done it again. That young man is a star rising before our eyes. I tell you what, that kid is just bigger and bigger every night, every game as he gets showered with water bottles on the left field now. Wow. What an incredible game that was. Mustangs move to 21-0 on the walk-off by Dylan Maxey. Mavericks elect not to pitch to Pacheco. Puts him on the intentional walk. Dylan, first pitch he sees, sends it over the center fielder's head off the wall. And Pacheco, with two outs, is off and running. And this is what I've been talking about. These guys have not been scared to lose. They are playing to win. A little bit of unsportsmanlike conduct from the Mavericks. Uh, coaches out quickly to take care of it. And again, uh, it, it <laughs> there's no excuse for that, but it, it's this is playoff baseball. And everybody wants a shot at the king. And right now, friends of Mustangs are the king. Yeah, Benny doesn't look too thrilled out there. He's taking a moment to cool off himself. I don't think he was too pleased with how the boys celebrated there, but I understand too. I mean, I understand the kids. I mean, they're excited. That is a big win, keeping the, the undefeated season intact. And But, hey, both teams, I mean, they just played one hell of a game. And I tell you, the uh, defense on the Manville side was just absolutely stellar tonight. They made a number of great plays. Count them. The pitcher, Simmons, made a great play. Second baseman made two great plays. Your Simmons. shortstop yep. made plays look easy. Right. Your left fielder made two nice running catches. Your center fielder made a running catch that saved at least two runs. And then another circus act catch, running circles out there to, to <laughs> get the out. So, Yeah, they, they played an outstanding ball game. And Simmons, give him credit. He held this uh, friends of the lineup in check. And went into the eighth inning, tied at one. So just hats off to the Manville Mavericks. I know they're upset, and uh, you know for them, luckily it's a short bus ride. It's not too far getting back to Manville. But they're also battling for a playoff positioning. Right. And this is a team that has come in here extremely hot, Kate. Winners of seven of their last eight games, four in a row. And you know, after just losing one to nothing to Friendswood the first time they played them, they were up for this game. And they so, came out guns blazing, and they were not intimidated. They were not going to back down. And getting that run in the top of the seventh there, you could see a potential momentum change in the game. And they got pumped up, and they exited their dugout. But I tell you, you know, Friendswood settled down, handled their business, and then right there at the end, again, Intentionally walking Pacheco puts a potential winning run on base, and, and the guys behind him got to do it. And as he's done all year long, Dylan said, I'm your man. Here we go. Let's do it again. So much fun. So glad you guys joined us here on the Vibe Sports broadcast. Mustangs again, 2-1 to one over the Manville Mavericks in extra innings. They win it in eight. And for Cade Lyko, I'm Joe Hollier. Our QA tonight, Dandra McBenyu, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We will be back on the air this Friday as we take on the Santa Fe Indians. And Mustangs travel to Baytown Sterling tomorrow. So three games this week. Should be interesting pitching-wise. But that's going to do it from Bobby Blackfield here in Frenza, Texas. One more time, your friends with Mustangs move out to 21-0 as they defeat the Manville Mavericks 2-1. Thanks, everybody.
We'll see you next time.